Guwahati, Pragjyotishpura in ancient Assam, Gati in the modern era is the largest city in the Indian state of Assam and also the largest urban area in northeast India. A major riverine port city and one of the fastest growing cities in India, Guwahati is situated on the south bank of the Brahmaputra. The ancient cities of Pragjyotishpura and Durjaya North Guwahati were the capitals of the ancient state of Kamarupa. Many ancient Hindu temples are in the city, giving it the name City of Temples. Dispur, the capital of Assam, is in the Circuit City region located within Guwahati and is the seat of the government of Assam. Guwahati lies between the banks of the Brahmaputra River and the foothills of the Shillong Plateau, with LGB International Airport to the west and the town of Narenji to the east. It is gradually being expanded as North Guwahati to the northern bank of the Brahmaputra. The noted Maidan Kamdev is situated 30 kilometres from Guwahati. The Guwahati Municipal Corporation GMC, the city's local government, administers an area of 328 square kilometers, 127 square miles, while the Guwahati Metropolitan Development Authority GMDA is the planning and development body of Greater Guwahati Metropolitan Area. Guwahati is the largest city in northeast India. The Guwahati region hosts diverse wildlife including rare animals such as Asian elephants, pythons, tigers, rhinoceros, gaurs, primate species and endangered birds. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> 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 Once known as Pragjyotishpura, the light of the east, Guwahati derives its name from the Assamese words guwa, meaning areca nut and hot, meaning market. Topic: History. Topic: Ancient history. Guwahati's myths and history go back several thousands of years. Although the exact date of the city's beginning is unknown, references in the epics, Puranas, and other traditional histories of India, lead many to assume that it is one of the ancient cities of Asia. Epigraphic sources place the capitals of many ancient kingdoms in Guwahati. It was the capital of the kings Narakasura and Bhagadatta according to the Mahabharata. Located within Guwahati is the ancient Shakti temple of goddess Kamakya in Nilashal Hill, an important seat of Tantric and Vajrayana Buddhism, the ancient and unique astrological temple Navagraha in Chitrakal Hill, and archaeological remains in Basistha and other archaeological locations of mythological importance. The Ambari excavations trace the city to the Hindu kingdoms of Shunga Kushana period of Indian history, between the 2nd century BC and the 1st century AD. During earlier periods of the city's history it was known as Pragjyotishpura, and was the capital of Assam under the Kamarupa kingdom. Descriptions by Xuanzang reveal that during the reign of the Varman king Bhaskarvarman 7th century AD, the city stretched for about 30 li 15 km or 9.3 miles. Archaeological evidence by excavations in Ambari, and excavated brick walls and houses discovered during construction of the present Cotton College's auditorium suggest the city was of economic and strategic importance until the 9th–11th century AD. <inaudible> <inaudible> medieval history The city was the seat of the Borfukan, the civil military authority of the Lower Assam region appointed by the Ahom Kingdom Kings. The Borfukan's residence was in the present Fancy Bazaar area, and his council hall, called Dapadar, was about 300 yards 270 meters to the west of the Baralu stream. The Majandar Barua, the personal secretary of the Borfukan, had his residence in the present day deputy commissioner's residence. The Mughals invaded Assam 17 times, but were defeated by the numerically inferior yet formidable Ahams in the Battle of Itakuli and the Battle of Saraghat. During the Battle of Saraghat, fought in Saraghat in 1671, the Mughals were overrun due to the strong leadership and hard work of Lachit Borfukan. The great embankment called Mumai Kota Gore, named after an incident in which Lachit had to slay Kota, his own maternal uncle Mumai, for being lazy in building the embankment Gore that runs along the outskirts of the city, stands as a proof of the hard work and war readiness on the part of the Ahams. There was an ancient boat yard in Digalipuhori, probably used by the Ahams in medieval times. 
Medieval constructions include temples, ramparts, etc. In the city, the city was under Burmese rule from 1817 to 1826. Following the First Anglo Burmese War, the city became a part of the British Empire. It played an active role during the independence struggle of India and was the birthplace of activists such as Tarun Ram Pukhan. <laughs> Urban morphology Guwahati's urban form radiates from a central core with growth corridors radiating and extending towards the south, east and west. In the past few decades, southern Guwahati areas such as Ganeshguri, Beltola, Hatagan, Six Mile and Panjabari began forming a southern sub-center surrounding the capital complex at Dispur. The core area consists of the old city with Pan Bazaar, Paltan Bazaar, Fancy Bazaar and Uzan Bazaar, with each area facilitating unique urban activities. Among the city corridors, the most important is the corridor formed along the Guwahati Shalong GS road towards the south almost 15 km miles from the city centre. The GS road corridor is an important commercial area with retail, wholesale and commercial offices developed along the main road, it is also a densely built residential area in the inner parts. The capital complex of Assam at Dispur is situated in this corridor. This corridor has facilitated the growth of a southern city sub-center at Ganeshguri, along with other residential areas to the south developed during the past few decades, the corridor extending towards the west around 30 km 19 miles from the city center contains a rail road linking not only Guwahati but also other parts of the northeastern region east of Guwahati to western Assam and the rest of India. The corridor links residential and historically important areas such as Nilishal Hill Kamakya, Pandu, and Maligon headquarters of Northeast Frontier Railways before it separates into two, one towards North Guwahati via the Saraghat Bridge and the other continuing west towards LGB International Airport via Gati University Jalukbari. There are also many river ports, jetties along this corridor. The third major corridor extends towards the east around 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles from the city center, linking Nunmati, Guwahati refinery and Narenji and has facilitated residential growth along it. Highway NH37, which encircles the city's southern parts and links the southern corridor in Numail to the western corridor in Jalukbari is currently supporting rapid development. Similarly, the VIP road linking Zoo Road with the Eastern Corridor and recently completed Hendrabari Narenji Road are also supporting massive residential development to the east. Guwahati is one among 98 Indian cities which will be upgraded to smart cities under a project embarked on by Ministry of Urban Development, Government of India. With the grade of a smart city, Guwahati will have highly up-to-date and radical provisions like regular and continuous electric supply, first-rate traffic and transport system, superior health care and many other prime utilities. Under this scheme, the city will use digital technology that will act as the integral mechanism of the aforesaid facilities and thereby further elevate the lifestyle of the citizens of Guwahati. Geography To the southwest of the city lies Deepor Bill, a permanent freshwater lake with no prominent inflows apart from monsoon runoff from the hills that lie to the south of the lake. The lake drains into the Brahmaputra, 5 km miles to the north, and acts as a natural stormwater reservoir for the city. Climate. Guwahati has a humid subtropical climate, Köppen climate classification CWA, falling just short of a tropical savanna climate, Köppen climate classification A. The average annual temperature is 22.2 degrees Celsius, with extremes ranging from 39.5 degrees Celsius recorded on the 24th of April 2014 to 2.0 degrees Celsius recorded in January 1964. Topic administration and governance Dispur, the capital of Assam, lies in Guwahati. The passing of Northeastern Reorganization Areas Act in 1971 by the Indian Parliament accorded Meghalaya the status of a full-fledged state. After the creation of Meghalaya as a separate state, Shillong continued to be the joint capital of both Assam and Meghalaya. However, in 1972, the government of Assam decided to shift the capital to Dispur. 
Accordingly, the first sitting of the budget session of the Assam Legislative Assembly was held at Dispur on 16 March 1973. Dispur houses the Secretariat of Assam Government, the Assam Assembly House, the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development Regional Office, the North Eastern Development Finance Corporation Limited House and the Guwahati Tea Auction Center .Guwahati Municipal Corporation is the local body responsible for governing, developing and managing the city. GMC is further divided into 31 municipal wards. Guwahati Metropolitan Development Authority GMDA is an agency responsible for planning and development of the Greater Guwahati Metropolitan Area and for revising the Guwahati Master Plan and building bylaws to cover an area of 3,214 square kilometers (1,241 square miles) by 2025. Guwahati consists of four assembly constituencies: Jalukbari, Dispur, Gati East, and Gati West, all of which are part of Gati Lok Sabha constituency. Topic: Police. Guwahati is the headquarters of Assam Police. The city is under the Police Commissionerate of Guwahati, headed by the Commissioner of Police, Guwahati. It is divided into three districts: East Police District, Central Police District, and West Police District, each headed by a Deputy Commissioner of Police. Each police district consists of officers, not below the rank of Assistant Commissioner of Police, functioning as executive magistrates within a said metropolitan area. Topic Judiciary Guwahati is the principal seat of the Gati High Court. It acts as the High Court of Assam and also of Nagaland, Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh with their outlying benches of Kohima, Aizal and Itanagar respectively. Gati High Court came in effect from 5 April 1948. It initially had its sittings at Shillong but was shifted to Gati from 14 August 1948. Guwahati also houses the court of the district and sessions judge, Kamrup established in 1920. It is a lower court of the district judiciary having territorial jurisdiction over the greater Guwahati area only. Infrastructure <inaudible> 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 The city has a comparatively high quality of life. A 2006 survey ranked Guwahati 17th among all the large and medium-sized Indian cities. The city provides competitive residential and working environments with beautiful landscapes, pleasant climate, modern shopping areas, modern apartments and bungalows, and considerably developed social infrastructure. A centrally funded four-lane, ambitious east-west corridor will pass through Guwahati and connect all the state capitals of northeast India. Completion of the project will boost the vital upliftment of the whole region. The city still needs attention to improve its infrastructure. Funding from the Asian Development Bank is providing assistance to improve Guwahati's transportation infrastructure along with a substantial amount from Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission for its development. Demographics. Topic. Population Guwahati is one of the fastest growing cities in India. It is estimated that Guwahati Metro will house 2.8 million residents by 2025. The percentage of child population of Guwahati is 9.40%. The average literacy rate is stated to be 91.47% with male literacy at 94.24% and female literacy at 88.50%. The sex ratio has been recorded to be 933 females per 1,000 males and child sex ratio to be 940 girls per 1,000 boys. Education <inaudible> 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 Guwahati is the major educational hub of Northeast India. Among the esteemed institutions is the Indian Institute of Technology Guwahati IIT, an autonomous institute dedicated in the field of technical studies in India. The Cotton College is yet another century-old autonomous institution in the fields of science and arts. 
Guwahati has numerous educational institutes such as Gati University, Cotton University, Srimanta Sankaradeva University of Health Sciences, Assam Science and Technology University, Gati Commerce College, Handik Girls College, Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati, Indian Institute of Information Technology, Guwahati, B. Borua College, Regional Dental College, Guwahati, NEF Law College, National Law University and Judicial Academy, Gati Medical College and Hospital, Assam Engineering College, Assam Institute of Management, Assam Don Bosco University, Assam Downtown University, Royal Global University and Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Economy <inaudible> 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 Pandu, located on the banks of the Brahmaputra at the western part of the city, is an ancient urban area that acted as the chief military base for the Ahams against external invasions. Due to extensive fortification surrounding Pandu, it acts as a natural river harbour and is formally called Gar Pandu. Pandu port falls under Dubri Sadia National Waterway 2 and is an important terminal cum transit point for goods and cargo as well as passenger and tourist vessels. Construction of both low-level and high-level jetty of fixed terminal, capable of handling container vessels, has been completed and has further enhanced revenue generation for the city. Manufacturing sector in Guwahati contributes a substantial share to the economy of the city. Petroleum manufacturing is an important economic activity of the city. The Guwahati refinery is the most important manufacturing industry in the city. Located at Noon Mati, the refinery was set up by the Indian Oil Corporation Limited as the first public sector refinery of India as well as the refinery of Indian oil since 1962. It was built with an initial crude processing capacity of 0.75 million metric tons per annum MMTPA at the time of its commission which was gradually increased to 1.0 MMTPA. It produces various products and supplies them to the other northeast states and also beyond to Siliguri through the Guwahati Siliguri pipeline. The various products produced by the refinery include liquefied petroleum gas (LPG), kerosene oil, turbine fuel, aviation use, motor spirit, high-speed motor diesel, light diesel oil and raw petroleum coke. There is also an LPG bottling plant in the city. Tea manufacturing and processing is another important activity of Guwahati. Assam is one of the highest tea producing areas in the world, contributing 80% of India's export and 55% of the country's total tea production. So high is the production of tea in Assam that it is the biggest industry of the state. The headquarters of the Assam Branch Indian Tea Association is located at Guwahati. The Guwahati Tea Auction Centre GTAC, located adjacent to the capital complex at Dispur, is the world's largest CTC tea auction centre and the second largest in terms of total tea auction. The inaugural sale took place on 25 September 1970 and the first lot of tea was auctioned at the price of 42 rupees and 50 paise which, during those days, was a big achievement. Many centralised, private and international banks have set up their branches in the city with the Reserve Bank of India having one of its own at Pan Bazaar. Transport Air Guwahati is served by the Lokpriya Gopinath Bordoloi International Airport, in Borjar, about 20 kilometres west from the heart of the city. With all major domestic and international airlines flying into Guwahati, it is the 13th busiest airport in India in total passenger traffic. Daily and weekly flights are available to Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Bengaluru, Bangkok, Singapore, Paro and other important destinations. Rail The city of Guwahati and the northeastern region falls under the Northeast Frontier Railway zone of the Indian Railways. The Guwahati Railway Station, located in Paltan Bazar area of Guwahati, is the major railway station of the city. It lies along the Barani Guwahati Line and Guwahati Lumding section, categorized as an A1 railway station under Lumding Railway Division. 
There are three more railway stations in the city, the Kamakya Junction for passenger and goods services, the new Guwahati Junction near Nunmati for only freight services and Azara Railway Station, also primarily used for freight services. There are regular trains connecting Guwahati to and from other major cities of the country. Rajdhani Express, Porvatar Sampark Kranti Express, Brahmaputra Mail, Kamrup Express, Northeast Express, Saraghat Express and Garab Rath are some significant trains running to and from Guwahati. The train with the longest route in India, Vivek Express, which runs from Dibrugarh in Upper Assam to Kanyakumari in southern tip of India passes through Guwahati. Topic road The length of surfaced roads within the city is 218 km 135 miles. National Highway 27 connects Guwahati with the states West Bengal, Bihar and rest of India. This highway connects Guwahati with Silchar in Barak Valley Assam and further connecting the city to the states of Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram and Tripura. National Highway 17 from Savok in West Bengal terminates in Jalukbari and connects Guwahati with the major cities of Dubri and Kuch Behar. National Highway 15 and its several secondary roads runs through both the banks of River Brahmaputra and connects the Guwahati with the cities of Tezpur, Jorhat, Dibrugarh in Upper Assam and the states of Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland. The public transportation is well developed in the city. Buses are the major means of public transport in Guwahati. The state-owned Assam State Transport Corporation ASTC and private operators provide the city bus services within the city. ASTC also operates the Volvo air-conditioned bus services within the city as well as to the LGBI airport. Now under ASTC Volvo chartered buses are also available which ply from LGBI airport to Shillong and Itanagar. In addition to this, there are a number of private bus operators which regularly run day and night bus services from Guwahati to neighboring towns and cities within Assam and other northeastern states. Rupnath Brahma Interstate Bus Terminus ISBT, located at Betkuchi area on NH37, is the most significant terminal cum transit point for buses plying between Guwahati and other destinations in Assam and northeast India. The areas of Adabari and Palton Bazaar also act as nodal points in providing bus services to towns and cities in Assam and adjoining states. A metro rail project has also been planned to relieve the hectic traffic conditions on the streets. Water The Inland Water Transport Department is headquartered at Pandu Port in Guwahati. The waterways transportation services in Guwahati are used for transporting bulk goods and cargo, and for movement of passenger and tourist vessels. Ferry services are available for transportation of people from different ports along the Brahmaputra to Pandu Port. Topic. Sports Guwahati features the multipurpose Nehru Stadium which hosts mainly cricket and football, while the Kanaklata Indoor Stadium in the RG. Barua Sports Complex in the Ulubari locality is one of the oldest sports complex in the city. There are smaller stadiums in Maligon the Northeast Frontier Railway Stadium and in Palton Bazaar where the Sports Authority of India complex is located. The sporting infrastructure specially constructed for the 33rd National Games in 2007 include a large stadium at Sarusajai, the Indira Gandhi Athletic Stadium, the Dr. Zakir Hussain Aquatic Complex, and the Karmabir Nabhan Chandra Bordaloi AC. Indoor Hall. Other new sports structures include the Maulana MD. Tayabula Hockey Stadium at Betapara, the Deshbakta Tarun Ram Fokan Indoor Stadium at Ulubari, Rajiv Gandhi Indoor Stadium at Amingan, Chachal Tennis Complex and Tepizia Sports Complex. The other renovated sports complexes include Ganesh Mandir Indoor Stadium at Kanapara, Rudra Singha Sports Complex at Dispur and Gati University Sports Stadium. The Indira Gandhi Athletic Stadium was also the main venue of the 2016 South Asian Games, which was held from 5 to 16 February 2016. The stadium also hosted the Himalayan Region Games in 2017 and the FIFA U-17 World Cup in India in 2017. Guwahati is home to professional football team Northeast United FC of Indian Super League, who play their home matches at the Indira Gandhi Athletic Stadium. It presents one of the finest football atmospheres in India. 
Aka Stadium, also known as Bupen Hazarika Stadium, is a cricket stadium located at Barsapura in Guwahati. It has a seating capacity of 40,000. It is the largest cricket stadium in northeast India and second largest in East India. It hosted an India vs Australia T20 match in 2017 in its international debut. The first ODI in the stadium was held in 2018 between India and West Indies. Professional sports clubs based in the city. Topic media and telecommunications Assamese daily newspapers published from the city are Dainik Agridut, Asomia Pratidin, Asomia Kobor, Amar Asom, Dainik Janambumi, Janasaran, Niamiya Barda, Dainik Assam, Ajir Asom and Gana Adhikar. English dailies are the Assam Tribune, The Sentinel, The Telegraph, The Times of India and Eastern Chronicle. Eclectic Northeast Magazine is a leading Guwahati-based monthly Northeast magazine with an online version. G Plus is the only English weekly tabloid published from Guwahati. Doordarshan Kendra Guwahati provides composite satellite television services to Northeast India. The Guwahati based 24 hour regional news channels include News Live, Die 365, Pratidin Time, Prag News, Assam Talks, and News 18 Assam, Northeast. The Guwahati radio station of state owned All India Radio was inaugurated on 1 July 1948 as Shillong Guwahati Station. The headquarter of the Shillong Guwahati station was shifted from Shillong to Guwahati in 1953. It is a full-fledged regional broadcasting station with three channels, the Guwahati A and B channels are AM channels and the CBS channel is a FM channel. The other FM stations include 92.7 Big FM, Radio Gup Shup 94.3 FM, Red FM 93.5 and Radio Mirchi. Telecom services are BSNL, Airtel, Vodafone, Idea Cellular and Geo. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Growth issues. Increase in population. Guwahati has seen a rapid rise in population in the past few years. People from other parts of the state and the region routinely migrate to the city chiefly for education and occupation resulting in undesirable expansion of population in the city, which further brings with it many collateral problems in the city. Price rise one of the economic problems that the citizens of Guwahati have to put up with is the hike in prices of many essentials, chiefly vegetable, poultry and fish. The prices of these commodities keep escalating at an inordinate rate because of which the buyers find it difficult to buy these items. Vegetables are transported into Assam from West Bengal, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Maharashtra and Meghalaya and the truckers en route have to pay considerable amount of money as tax at various check posts. It is one of the causes of rise in prices of vegetables in the markets of Guwahati. The prices of locally available vegetables and fruits undergo large markup because of transportation expenses grounds, besides intra-state check posts taxes. In addition to these, the wholesale dealers as well as the retail sellers augment the prices of the commodities according to their own desires. The prices of poultry, mainly chicken that reach the city markets from places like Chagown and Barpada have been soaring rapidly because of similar factors. There has been steep rise in the prices of fishes as well, the prominent varieties of which being rohu, ru, katla, bahu, walking catfish, magor, and monopterus, kuchia, among many others. Notable people equals equals see also